What's up guys, Pete here, nutrition coach from plantbasedteacher.com and in today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to put together a full day of eating for building muscle, being an athlete, just living a generally active lifestyle. Because that's the point, right? It's not about what we do in the kitchen, it's how what we do in the kitchen fuels our life outside the kitchen. And I'll show you exactly how to do that today. Before we get started, if you wanna make meals like I make them, you've gotta get my guide on how to make delicious plant-based meals in under 30 minutes. It's helped over 11,000 people make incredible, nutritious plant-based meals. The link is in the description. Now, the day I decided to share with you was in the middle of my training for the Murph Challenge. So I do CrossFit almost every day. And every Memorial Day, there is the Murph Challenge. It's a really grueling CrossFit workout that I trained very hard for and my nutrition had to be super on point. So the challenge was to run one mile, then do 100 pull-ups, 200 push-ups, 300 squats, and then run another mile. This is my first time doing this, and so I had to make sure that my food was absolutely on point to help my performance and my recovery. So if you're looking to be more active, this meal plan is definitely designed for you. It's going to be very high calorie, but I'll talk about some swaps you can make to lower the calories. All right, guys, breakfast, if you know anything about me, you know it's overnight oats. Come on, this was not going to be a mystery here. So my overnight oats are simple. I mash a banana, I throw in three quarters of a cup of oats, dash a cinnamon, a scoop of protein powder, I use Vivo Life, a little bit of cacao powder, and then I throw in a cup of soy milk, a tablespoon of flax seeds, and finally, I top it off with some almond butter, and blueberries. This chocolate banana almond butter combo is just so freaking good. And it starts my day off right. I get the protein I need, I get the fiber, I get the healthy fats, the antioxidants from the blueberries really help with my muscle recovery. All this coalesces in a perfect breakfast. Now, if you want less calories, you can have half a cup of oatmeal to three quarters of a cup of milk and skip the almond butter and maybe have a lighter scoop of protein powder. That way you can either maintain your calories or lose weight. Now my snack guys is not that exciting. In the middle of the day, it's always the same. It is a handful of mixed nuts and a handful of blueberries. To me guys, that's just the perfect snack. Maybe if you throw some chocolate in there. But again, I'm getting more protein, more calories to fuel my workouts, healthy fats from the nuts, and again, extra antioxidants from those blueberries. It's sweet, it's salty, it's crunchy, it's delicious. I could take it with me anywhere. So didn't get footage of that, but it's a handful of blueberries and nuts, all right? Not that hard to imagine. Now, for lunch, I used a variation of my bowl formula. It actually became one of my most popular videos. I'll link to that in the description. But basically, what I make sure to have when I'm in a heavy period of training is my bowl formula. So the formula, simply put, is greens, whole grains, two types of protein, a healthy fat, a vegetable or two, and then a little bit of fruit on top. That to me is the perfect meal nutritionally. It's endlessly customizable. It's incredible. Now for this one, I didn't quite have all the ingredients, but I did my best on a very busy work day. So my lunch on this day was a bed of arugula that I got from the farmer's market, nice and peppery. Then I had some spiced quinoa. I spiced it with salt, chili powder, and nutritional yeast, super tasty. For the protein, I had a ton of chickpeas in my cupboard, so I used those. Spiced them with the same spices as the quinoa but I did add some garlic powder. Then I had some sliced carrots and peppers to put on top. And in the chickpeas, I mixed in some tahini and lemon. That gets me my healthy fat, gets me a lot of flavoring. And then I topped it off with some sriracha. Oh my gosh, guys, this was amazing. It was so tasty, so fresh, just chock full of protein, an amazing meal to fuel my lunch and to fuel my workout for later in the day. So that bowl formula is an absolute winner if you're an athlete or living an active lifestyle. After work, I go to CrossFit, I go train as hard as I possibly can, and on this day, I come back and I have what I always have, my recovery smoothie. So my recovery smoothie is a cup of soy milk, a scoop of Vivo Life protein powder, a tablespoon of flax seeds. I throw in a scoop of human tonic red tonic, for extra antioxidants, and especially because I was trying to save my berries 
for my snacks. Side note, if you wanna try Red Tonic, it's my favorite recovery drink. You can get 10% off by using the code MOREPLANTS10 at checkout. Link is in the description. Then I throw in some almond butter, a banana, blend it all up. Oh, I threw ice in this as well because I didn't have frozen berries and it's just so good. It's a perfect recovery drink. It doesn't have all the additives that the corporate protein drinks have, right? This is just simple, whole food, full of fiber, freaking delicious. You'll feel incredible after having this. Last up for dinner, I had a stir fry. So all that I wanna make sure I get with my dinner is a lot of carbs to help me recover and a lot of protein. So in the rice cooker, I made a big pot of rice. Now, I can already hear it. Yes, that is white rice. Yes, I eat white rice. I can already see the comments. How could I take advice from you as a nutrition coach when you eat white rice? Listen guys, life happens. One, white rice is freaking delicious. Two, I'm on a budget and I got a 25 pound bag of it at Costco. I saved some money. Three, my wife did not want the same meal that I was having, but she wanted a rice base. So to save time and money, we made just a big pot of white rice, okay? Food isn't just about nutrition. You gotta think about taste, you gotta think about your circumstances, your budget, the time you have, culture, all of these things. And all of that leads me to eating white rice. My blood sugar's fine, it's cool, don't fry. All right, so I make the white rice, then I air fry up some tofu. I do it at 400 degrees, about 13, 15 minutes comes out super crispy, heated up some veggies, and then you throw it all in a bowl. For this, I seasoned it with soy sauce, sesame oil, and sriracha. Little pro tip, don't cook the tofu in sesame oil. Add it at the end, that is where you get the best flavor. It doesn't get cooked out, okay? And this meal is just incredibly delicious. You'll see I paired it with a side of steamed edamame for extra protein, and oh, it's just so, so good, an absolutely incredible meal to end the day. Guys, that is my full day of eating as an athlete, as someone who's training super hard. So you'll notice this is a great nutritional profile. You get tons of protein, tons of uh, healthy carbohydrates, but the right amount of healthy fats, and just immense nutrients and antioxidants from all the fruits and vegetables that I'm eating throughout the course of the day. And guys, I did this while running this business, working my full-time teaching job, training hard at CrossFit. Like, this is very doable. None of these meals took more than 20, 25 minutes to put together. And it's the same formula I use in my free guide on how to make delicious plant-based meals in under 30 minutes. So like, this is the proof that's in the pudding that that works, that I use this. So definitely get that if you haven't yet. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Now do me a favor, don't just watch. Put what you've learned today into action. Try one or a few of these meals. Go be active, go take a walk, run, lift, do something to move your body and use these foods to recover. Because remember, it's not about life in the kitchen. It's about what you do in the kitchen and how it fuels your life outside of it. And if you're ready to stop dreaming and start eating, you definitely want to check out my Plant-Based Success Academy. It is my step-by-step -step program that teaches you exactly how to live an active plant-based lifestyle just like I do. So if you want to join that academy, have me as your coach, check out the link in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate your time and attention, and I'll see you in the next video.